happened to the Dallas Mavericks? And that's a question that I've been asking myself for a very long time. Obviously, if you've stuck around the channel for about a month or so, maybe a little bit more, you've seen me make multiple videos about the Kyrie trade and why it was bad. And obviously, I have made it very apparent that I do not like the Kyrie trade, but I would like to make it very clear that I do not believe Kyrie was the only issue. There were multiple, multiple issues with this team. The front office, the coaching, the rest of the team. That's the last thing I would like to be portrayed is that I have a personal vendetta against Kyrie Irving, which is absolutely not the case. So I apologize if that's the way I've made it look. I would also like to make it very clear that a lot of the issues that I had with Kyrie were not his fault either. Like, my main my main issue with the team right now, which wasn't brought up by Kyrie, it just didn't help, was their defense. Um, and I think they knew what they were getting into when they traded for Kyrie, a low defense player, or a guy who, does, who doesn't exactly make defense a priority, or just isn't amazing at it. But and they ended up giving away their best defender Dor in Dorian Finney-Smith, to the Nets in return for Kyrie. So I think off off the bat right there, that's not a great start for what the team traded away. And then not including their second best scorer, Spencer Dinwiddie, who basically Kyrie took over for just obviously much amplified score, way better score than Dinwiddie. There's no doubt about that one. And I would also like to make it very apparent that Jason Kidd is very much a part of the problem here. It, all of his plays seem to be the, the exact same. It's give Luka the ball, let him dribble out 15, 20 seconds of the shot clock, pass it around a little bit, get back to Luka, chuck, chuck up a bad shot. That seems to be what a lot of it is. Or if Kyrie's in, it's have Kyrie do a little bit of dribbling, pass it around, don't give Kyrie the ball for the rest of the possession until there's one second left on the shot clock to where he has to take a half-court shot. It just, it, the, the, all of that looks really weird. And then his rotations are kind of weird with like having all small guys in or a few big guys in at a time that probably don't fit well with another. It's just, there's a lot of really weird aspects to his coaching style that I'm not sure Dallas should be appreciating right now. Uh, and then Mark Cuban has made a few really weird decisions. It's like, you let Jalen Brunson walk, who, or walk this past offseason, who has turned out to be an all-star level player. He's been amazing for New York. And then you end up not replacing him this offseason, which is what you should have done. Then your, your team would have had more t more time to adjust. And then you end up making the Kyrie trade mid this mid in the middle of the year. And then it just doesn't work out, which it sh that shouldn't be a surprise. We see these trades all the time at midseason that just don't end up working out for the squad because they don't have time to adjust. And that's exactly what happened here. And then something weird really happened just recently. The Mavericks... If they won their last two games, they could have had a chance to make the play-in tournament. But if they lost their last two games, then they had a chance at keeping their first-round pick. And they chose the second option. They chose to try and lose their two last games. They didn't try to win their or try to lose their two last games. They did lose their two last games. And that and that just proved a weird decision because you would put through all this effort into getting Kyrie a win-now guy who was on a one-year contract, mind you, who was going to leave this offseason. You gave all of that up, and you chose to lose your last two games. And I get it, like, you want to keep your first-round pick to try to get a good player this offseason, but it just looks so bad. Like, you put in all this effort to try and win, and then you just give all of that away. Ugh, it just, it looks really bad now. It's, there's no way to make them look good right now. I don't, Mark Cuban looks like a bad owner right now. Jason Kidd looks like an awful head coach right now. All the players are just, they, they, they look miserable. Like Luka, you can tell his joy has been stolen by Dallas right now. And it's, it's really hard to watch. But let me know what you think of Dallas in the comments. And let me know what you think I missed or if there's another underlying issue that I failed to touch on in this video in the comments.